Yo, what is going on guys and gals, Max here, and in this video I'm going to break down a step-by-step -step guide to walk you through the process of completing the Resident Evil 7 beginning hour demo puzzle that actually hasn't been able to be solved until this final midnight update that was just released this weekend. Completing this puzzle will give you more than just bragging rights too, as you can see you can actually obtain a coin after completing this puzzle that will actually transfer over to the full game once it releases in January. What this coin will do or unlock for us in the full game is still unknown, but after putting us through finger hell through this demo, I'm sure Capcom will award us nicely. But now hopping straight into this guide, the first thing you're going to want to do as soon as you start a new game and spawn on the floor there is put the fuse in the fuse box, which has been in the demo since its initial release. But if you don't know how to do this, just turn around as soon as you spawn right there and pull the chain in the chimney, crawl through the hidden door, and the fuse is right there on the table. Plug that bad boy into the fuse box and you're on to step two. Step two is to grab the basement key from the attic. You've got to press the button on the second floor there to lower the stairs and the keys are located right next to the bed on a table. Step three is going to be heading down into the basement now in a new area added in the final update. We're going to use the basement key here to open the cellar door and be sure to grab the lock pick before heading into the next room as well. Now step four is by far the hardest and most trickiest part of this entire walkthrough which is why I made it the first priority to get done in this guide. Now as far as I know you can't actually kill the monster but to despawn him you're going to have to grab the valve and the keys. Once you have both these items and leave the room the monster will never show up again. Now Jack the family man has already barricaded you in the room when you walked in, so the method I use that seemed to work for me is to sprint and grab the keys as soon as you pass the shelves They should be within arm's length to grab and then quickly run back avoiding the monster and try to open the door Because it won't let you actually kick it down until Jack shows his face Circle back around and use the hanging body to kick the monster down If the monster was successfully knocked down to the floor You should have enough time to kick the door twice and leave that room without a scratch now that the hard part's out of the way, it should just be smooth sailing from here. First things first, head back upstairs into the bathroom, which is part of the new area from the final update, and plug the valve that we picked up down there into the pipe next to the toilet. Turn the valve, and you should be able to flush the toilet now and grab a handgun. Now the next step is optional, but I thought I'd include it just in case some of you didn't know where all the bullets were. But there are a total of 12 bullets you can grab for the gun. The monster in the basement is the only thing you can actually shoot in this demo, but we've already got him despawned, so getting the bullets really isn't necessary. While doing this, you'll also need to pick up the axe, so use the lockpick that we found down in the basement on the drawer in the kitchen and grab the axe. Head back up into the attic and smash the box covered in tape to give you three bullets, and then there's also one more bullet under the bed. Once you've done this, also grab the dummy palm while you're up there. It's located right next to the TVs by the ladder in the attic. Then head back downstairs and grab the infamous dummy finger as well in the drawer in the hallway. Craft the dummy palm and finger together to create the dummy's left hand. Once you've done that, head back into the hallway leading into the basement, and just past the bathroom there will be a table with a drawer. In it will be a blank notebook. Grab it and head back upstairs, and now you're ready to start the puzzle. To get your first clue to start the puzzle, simply walk over to the blood written on the wall next to where you found the dummy palm and you'll get this audio cue. <laughs> Five guests murdered, but where is unknown? Nothing to point to their final gravestones. Now check your blank notebook for a clue to the first murdered guest. Grace will not wake when the clock makes its chime. Her covers are heavy, and it's her last bedtime. Head downstairs and directly across from the staircase there will be a clock. Below is a bookcase that fell on poor Grace. Pull out the dummy finger from your inventory and use it to point to her final resting place and you should receive this audio cue. After that you'll need to get the VHS to trigger the next clue so head to the back door, grab the bolt cutters, hi baby, then open up the cabinet opposite to that and grab the VHS. From there, head back up to the attic, past the phone room to reach the dead end with the light. Look up at the light for your second laugh. <laughs> After the laugh, check your notebook for another clue. Phil's tucked in tight on his cold, stiff bed. He's having sweet dreams of not being dead. Now it's time to find Phil's body, so head back down to the basement. Remember that monster shouldn't spawn if you have both items from down there. Now use the dummy finger to point to the dead body on the cart opposite of the door for another audio cue. Now head back upstairs and switch to your axe. Go to the stairs leading up to the second floor and swing your axe in front of this painting to receive another laugh. <laughs> now check your journal for your third clue that reads, Stanley was told to go hide and they'd seek, but they wouldn't let him out no matter how much he shrieked. Now right behind the stairs in the hanging voodoo doll's room, there's a door that is barricaded. Point at the door to reveal the grave of the hide and seek world champion.
Right after that, this next lap is actually right next to where you are now. Simply look at the mirror in the hallway and do a quick 180 turn by pressing down and also the back button at the same time. That's circle or B, depending on what console you're playing on. Now check your notebook for the fourth clue that reads, Marlene was so proud of her white and blue necklace it made her feel tall and left her quite breathless. Head back up into the attic room with the ladder, stand next to the bed, look up and point to Marlene's fatal necklace. Now to get this fifth and final audio cue or laugh, many people aren't sure what we're supposed to do here exactly. We know the audio cue is triggered by this doll below the one that you got the attic window keys from in the basement, but we're not sure what you have to do before that to trigger this laugh. It still remains a mystery. Most Reddit users believe that it has something to do with the tape or VHS. I went through the whole thing, interacted with everything I could, looked at the headphones, even saw the ghost girl once, finished the tape, but still no dice. Then I remembered the back door key, so I grabbed that, shot at Billy Mays a few times, put the back door key into the back door without opening it, went back down and teabagged this bitch, but still nothing. So I went back upstairs into the kitchen and activated the pot in the real world, went back into the VHS world and activated the pot there, and that seemed to do the trick for me because after that it finally worked and I aimed in my gun on the doll and it finally gave me this audio cue. <laughs> So now, like I said, I have no idea what has to be done in order to trigger that final laugh. It still remains a mystery, but I don't believe anything is bugged. Some people were saying it's bugged. We just don't know what step has to be done in order to get that final laugh. But once you do get that final laugh, check your journal for the final clue that reads, Timmy did not mind the harsh light of four suns. Eyes require heads, and he did not have one. Now the final resting place of poor Timmy Turner is back in the kitchen in the cooking pot, so take your finger and activate the final audio cue. Poor bastard didn't have his godparents to save him this time. Now with everything done, congratulations, you finished the puzzle to the Resident Evil demo. Just head back upstairs and open the door with all the blood on it and receive your coin for completing the puzzle. If this guide helped you out in any way, I would really appreciate a like and a comment on this video and to share it with any friends that would like to complete the puzzle for themselves. Also be sure to exit the game through the ladder and finish it. I don't know if the coin will transfer over to the final game if you don't. But thanks so much to all of you who took the time to watch this and I hope it really helped you guys out. If any of you think you know what the step is to trigger that doll audio cue leave it in the comments down below and if it's proven i'll pin it to the top comment so everyone else can see it but thanks so much for watching guys and until next time this has been max peace